Let's talk about creating worksheets. Now, in No Flight Learn, this is actually uh, just a quick demo of my favorite uh, support article. So in support.noflight.com, there's this using No Flight Learn section. This making worksheets article, I feel like should be bold and 10 font sizes bigger. Most of what I just showed, like, so this brings together all the pieces that we've been talking about into one article. This is like, I would bookmark this. So it shows all the different text options that I just went through and gives you like little ideas. Every idea is linked to the user guide so you can learn how to do it. On top of that, every section has an embedded score that shows all the examples. So this making worksheets article is really, really, really helpful. And then how to create systems. When you're making worksheets, you end up wanting to manipulate the notation in ways that make it more logical for students to complete. So you might want to like, for example, restart measure numbers. So each system shows as measure one. Right, things like cautionary key signatures, final bar lines in every section, locking the systems, and there's all sorts of things. You can adjust spacing. So again, there's instructions for how to do that. Color, we've talked about colors already. Um, and then all this idea of using playback, recording, using media sync. So this is a really cool um, opportunity to talk about making worksheets. The other thing I'll show you in Note Flight is a quick power tip because we have a couple of minutes and we're going to end right on time. I'll go back to my 101 score that we used earlier is when we're looking at making worksheets. The other thing I'll share is that um, you can format these to look like we talked about uh, formatting in page view, but in page setup, you can also do a custom page size. So it's, you know, right now it's eight and a half wide by 11 tall, but you can actually make it shorter or less so you don't have all this empty space at the bottom or you know a worksheet doesn't have to have a, a second but if you're not going to print it and it's just a digital thing you can make the height longer so the students just see everything on one sort of scrolling page view and you know like you don't need pagination so just be okay with thinking outside of the eight and a half by 11 page. Unless you're printing this on paper, you should really think about the way you size things because Chromebooks are wider than they are taller, right? iPads, whatever your device is. So creating worksheets that are framed for your student's device will make it a lot better for them in that long run. So that's some tips on creating worksheets in Note Flight Learn.